Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick second and show you the difference between the differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. This right here is WordPress.org, and what it is is it has it so that you can um, download WordPress right there. So when you click on it, it will have it will give you the option so you can download it to your computer and it will be a file that you have to t you take that file once you've downloaded it, the zip file and you have to upload it to the server and a server um, what a server is is it's where it will it hosts your website so you have to go out and get web hosting like one in one or GoDaddy or something like that and they'll charge you a monthly fee and they will host your site for you and that way you have control over your blog and everything that goes on it you control, you can get rid of, you can keep, and it can't be shut down. The, that's really the upside to it. And you have more control over themes and, and how you can change it and what you can make it look like and all the options that you can have. You have way more options with WordPress.org than you do with WordPress.com. But I just thought I would show you WordPress.com too, just so that you kind of had an idea of what it was. So what it, with WordPress.com, you're able to set up an account just like you would at Blogger or one of the other free sites like that and then you can just start blogging but you don't have the control over your site so if you had content on it that they decided they didn't like and even if you you know you put like 10 posts or 20 posts or 50 posts on there and they decided they didn't like your content for any reason that they chose they could shut down your blog and you'd be out all those articles that you spent all that time writing and it's not customizable even close to as much as WordPress.org and having it self-hosted. So that's why it's really important to have self-hosted instead of a free blog because you don't have as much control and you cannot have it as customized because you don't have access to all the stuff you need to be able to access file-wise and the back end to be able to have it customized so that it doesn't just look like everybody else's site out there and that it's unique to you and yeah so I just thought I'd hurry and make this video to show you the differences between the two and to help you out so that you knew and had a little bit of a visual on it so thank you I will talk to you later